The interesting part of the cell story is that we can't see the cell. It's so small, we can't see it with the naked eye. Then how come we know so much about the cell? Now that's another story. You know, in 17th century, there was a scientist called Robert Hooke. Now this fellow made a slice of cork and saw it under a microscope. At that time, there were no great microscopes like we have them today. First place, what is a microscope? Do you know what is a microscope? Microscope is a device or an instrument which can magnify the size of a small thing. That is why the word micro. So the microscope can magnify. Before that, we used to have hand lens that also magnified but only to some extent. And then there was this crude microscope under which Robert Hooke for the first time saw a slice of cork. And what he saw was just another world. He saw that actually the cork slice is made up of many tiny compartments like this. This reminded him of a small room, right? So what did he call it? He called it a cell. Even today when we are talking about a jail, what we say? That person is in a cell because cell is a small compartment or a small room. Now looking at this, you may think that cell is a two dimensional thing. That's not true. A cell is like a room. It is three dimensional. There is the length also breadth also, height also. Imagine yourself sitting inside this cell. So cell is three dimensional. There is thickness also, there is length also and there is breadth also. Now once the scientist Robert Hooke was able to see the cell under the microscope, after that the history of understanding of cell and the history of evolution of optical instruments go hand in hand because the understanding or the study of cell largely dependent upon optical instruments which can magnify. So as the quality of microscope kept on increasing, the knowledge about cell also kept on increasing. Today we have a very very powerful microscope called the electron microscope. So the story from 1665 to 2010 is full of Bollywood masala. How? There have been new discoveries, there has been understanding and knowledge of new things and every time our perspective changed. We didn't know cell is two dimensional, we didn't know cell is made up of so many components. So this is how we came to know and this is the story of the cell. Later on there were many scientists like Robert Brown, Scladden and Scavan who gave various information about cell and called it as cell theory. Now cell theory you will study when you go to higher classes but just to have an idea according to this theory all living beings are made up of cells and cells are the structural and the functional unit of living beings. This point is very important. Structural and functional unit of living beings. Then we also learned that cells always arise from pre-existing cells. Which means they cannot come from nothing or de novo. And in the 20th century, we also added on that they have genetic material or the heredity information. So this is regarding the history of cell. There have been many scientists, Bakenji, Robert Brown, Liu Van Hook, who have contributed for the understanding of cell. 